in this video we are going to take a look at rom rom is basically read only memory you can access that in logism by going to memory over here and then rom and then you put it right here then what we're going to do is we are going to collect this one with a random number generator okay and then connect this q1 q with the a and uh, we need the output from the rom so to get the output from the rom i get a, a connected tty um, and uh, tty is uh, ascii code generator so first what we are going to do is we are going to generate some random number and input into rom and it's going to store that and then it's going to print that into tty uh, tty is a seven bit and here uh, let's change this one into four bits you can do 8 bit 4 bit whichever the bit we want so let's try 4 bits first so if this one is 4 bit this one also has to be 4 bit otherwise you see the error right here because you can only connect 4 bit with a 4 bit so now it's 4 bit you can also change this one to fewer number or 8 number whichever you want um, data between so 4 bit 4 between just single digit like it's in hexadecimal so each digit is four bit um eight bit mean like two two numbers so each digit is four bits so two number eight bit so you can try that one as well so let's try four bit for now uh then you connect this one with uh, you cannot directly connect because this is four bit and this one is seven bit so to connect with this one we need a bit extender so i can go to wiring and grab a bit extender and connect it over here and if we want to convert a 4 bit into a 7 bits okay connect with this one this one and all this triangle thing has to be connected with the clock okay um and uh, this one should be type one okay and that's it then uh, now what we can do let's try control k and it's generating some value because all of them are zero so it's giving the same thing uh, to change that i go to the contents and change some values like here and there like you see this is a hexadecimal values so you can go from zero to f and put some values so i put five six uh, a f um, b c and so on now close the window and then control plus k now you see that we are getting some different things based on what we input here okay uh, you can also do the same thing with 8 bits as well so to do the 8 bit you just say change this one to 8 bits and this one also 8 bit <coughs> okay um you can also make the bit uh, data bit, bit with also 8 bit that's going to be two di double digits okay and then if it's 8 bit the extender should be 8 bit to 7 bits okay so now we have to change the content and if you expand it you're going to see a whole lot of things you put some random things here and there okay that's it and let's try to run this control plus k Okay, something wrong i'm gonna reset this one and run so is there a way to reset okay reset simulation simulate reset simulation that's control plus r so now uh, it's better to just put single digit so it's easy to do something with that i mean okay so if the data bit with this thing 4 bit then this one also 4 bit
Okay, close window. Let's try this. Okay, all the zeros are turning into P and other things are the one I typed are coming different. It's once in a while. And that is basically it. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys found